afternoon guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Tulisi Lekoleni and if you are new here well welcome and this is where you get to see we do the things in the lab and share the things that I love so yeah and if you're my day one you guys know what it is thank you so much for coming back and thank you for watching this video I really do appreciate all the love and the support that you guys have been giving before the year earned i thought it was a good idea for me to film this video so in today's video i am doing it i am doing a q and a with you guys so i have posted um um this on on my instagram and i asked you guys what would you like to un ask me um because i'm filming a video in my youtube channel and you guys thank you so much to everyone who sent through their questions and a special thank you to um ovayo uh, princess daweti thank you so much babe. i have written them uh, down here because i'm filming with my phone so it would be useless so i have all the questions right here anywho let's get into this video but before i do that i just want to remind you guys please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't let's grow this channel uh, so please subscribe give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and la like comment down below uh, question number one where are you from i am from the east uh, oh sorry if i look down it's because i have written all my questions in this um diary journal um so yeah don't feel offended and i hope it's not as distracting uh, me looking down and yeah so question number one is where are you from i am from the eastern cape originally i am from the eastern cape in a small town called Emon freya so yeah that's where i'm from but actually i grew up in Kukumbu um so yeah i grew up with Umbu from my mom's side i will link the video here um or somewhere here or here uh for my get to know me video uh question number two is how old are you i am officially 29 guys i am 29 i am a libra twin i am born on the 6th of october uh 1991 so i am 29 third question is how come you have so much self-esteem so i drew my self-esteem from a very young age my mom was a queen uh my mom was like like my mom would design her own clothes and all that stuff and my mom like my mom will give compliments to people and they look good so i feel like i took a lot of my confidence or self-esteem from that and the fact that i am very comfortable in my own skin like i am a free person so i'm very comfortable in my own skin and also i love beyonce so beyonce is the queen too so yeah i think that's where i um drew my um self-esteem from is my mom um like being also comfortable in my own skin knowing that i am pretty i am enough let's move on uh, question number four are you in a relationship yes i am in a relationship i am happily in a relationship and yeah it hasn't been long but it's going very very well like i am happy i am content love lives here <laughs> so yeah i am in a relationship and i am very very happy question number five would you date a closer man yes and no because it says explain <laughs> yes and no the reason in cape town <laughs> for you well in western cape for the longest time and awesome men they will show you flames let me tell you that and this is me not being ignorant or anything i'm just sharing my own experience with tosa men it hasn't been cute um one thing i know about them well the ones that i've dated um they will tell you the other thing and to the other the opposite of what they just told you so they 
they're very cute though yo they're very cute like awesome men but personally yeah i don't think i would date a custom man it will take i don't know a godly individual for me to date a custom man he has to be god fearing like he has to oh lord he has to be yeah he has to be a very god fearing man if it's Kosa for me to date him uh, but for any individual but for him Kosa man honestly he has to be like 110 <laughs> um god, god fearing because wow i don't want to see flames Ugh. uh moving right along would you date outside of your race uh, definitely i mean uh, yeah first of all we are all human before anything else so if we um can all remember that we are all human before anything else i think that's for me um take see anything wrong as long as um i don't mind culture difference as long as religious religiously we believe in the same um creator because i'm a christian as long as he believes in uh, jesus christ um as long as if his family is very receptive of us being an interracial couple i'm okay with that and if i don't think my family will have a problem with whoever i love um especially if they can say that i really really like the person so i don't think they'll have a problem at all even though i am not sure if we've had an interracial couple in my family both my mom and my dad's side but i don't think they'll have a problem at all i was if they, i don't have a problem at all with dating a multiracial like outside of my race so definitely i would i believe this is question uh, number seven uh would you date or marry a white man yes i would like i actually find them really really attractive very cute uh, <laughs> i'm probably gonna get in trouble for this but i actually find them really really attractive very cute um if it happens it happens i would definitely yeah like a british like men from uk uh, i love them uh, the accent uh, first and they are fine uh so a man from uk or oh, europe the europe countries definitely i'm not sure about australia but maybe australia as well because i like the men in australia have you seen the last uh bachelor that they had Ooh, that guy was very cute okay yeah i will definitely date or marry a, a white person definitely if it's in the stars why not who am i to say no i won't um do you want to have children and how many would you like god to bless you with i like the last part how many would you like god to bless you with um yes i think i am getting in a point in my life where i feel like yes i would love to have children they are so cute they're such a blessing and it's uh, i feel like it's very um beautiful to watch them grow into their own individual um have their own personalities and just you nurturing and just making sure that they are well taken care of protected and personally i wanna um, i give down i wanna um give down the keys i don't want my children to, to suffer or to grow up the way i did i want them when they are like 18 to have their own cars i don't have to drive them around or pick them up or anything like that so I just want my children to have a really really bright future i want to set up i want to set the standards are very high for them so that um i know that even if they fail god forbid even if they fail but failure is not a bad thing it's actually a learning curve but um even if uh, they fail or um, come across um obstacles in life i know that it's 
really not on my part that I've done my part that I've made sure that they have a bright future ahead of them uh, in terms of academically or um, athletic if they want to do sports if if they are good at sport academically and uh, that's perfect with me so yeah I would definitely want to, to have children I think yeah it's, it's, it's something that I have to discuss with my partner as well uh, obviously um and it says how many would you like God to bless you with personally I would love to have a two boys and the last one being a girl so three um children would be fine but also if i were to be blessed with um quadruplets i wouldn't mind like okay yeah and uh, that's the eighth question question number nine would you date a broke nigga <laughs> um yes i have um actually not like they were like broke broke but they were working but it was not like like we were li like someone who's living from from paycheck to paycheck honestly i don't want to date someone because of their money and uh, because personally i feel like a lot of guys that um have so much money they're not really great lovers they just overcompensate with the money they have and for me i don't like that i'm i don't want to say i'm very clingy but also in the same breath i want to say i'm very clingy i want someone who's gonna um make the time to be with me like we have quality time together and it's just someone who wants who needs me and who wants me to be there with him whenever 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 he's sick, whenever he's sick whenever you just need someone to listen to or someone to talk to like i want someone like that who's gonna want me to be there for him and who's gonna do the same thing for me like uh if there's potential there why not i mean really um a lot of um people that are wealthy or rich uh, right now they started somewhere somewhere and um look at um uh Mr. Barack Obama and Michelle Obama so really um, you have to start somewhere uh, it doesn't happen overnight if there's potential there definitely I will date him as long as he can uh, at the moment um, afford his rent if he's renting his toiletries and stuff like I'm not really fussy and I'm not really fancy in terms of us going on dates if we can't we can just make something at home and just eat whatever that is I'm not really fussy so yeah if if yeah definitely I'll date um, a broke guy but again it it depends to me the definition of being broke could be different from your definition of being broke so yeah I'll definitely um, date someone who is broke in my own definition as long as he has like a job um, that's all I need it doesn't have to be paying millions and millions and millions of rents now so yeah question number nine done question number ten what is your definition of cheating um, a definition of cheating for me would be someone who's not loyal to me someone who's sleeping around with other girls um, someone who's not exclusive who says they want us to be exclusive but they are not exclusive to me like someone who tells you half truth I don't like that like rather rather hurt me with um, the truth than hurt me with you lying and me finding out later on I believe in being truthful to I believe in in being truthful to me and to yourself first um, so if you are being truthful to yourself and you know exactly what you want and yeah it shouldn't be a problem for you to be honest and not cheat to me um, and also if you no longer like all of this honey it's okay you can leave I'm okay with that this heart of mine is gold honey it can be shattered into pieces but it can be molded back into one piece and it can love beyond my own imaginations so it's not a problem so yeah cheating 
that's my definition of cheating not being loyal telling me half truth be honest with me that's all i ask be even if you feel like you're being brutally honest i'll take it let me be the one who decides me if i can handle it or, or anything you might underestimate me that i'm not as strong as you i pretend to be or not as strong as you think i am but i might actually surprise you surprise you and just be as strong as yeah question number 11. so question number 11 is would you forgive a guy that cheat would, would you forgive a guy that would cheat on you it says explain um yes i mean really um we made we all make mistakes um even though sometimes i feel like cheating is a choice because why are you talking to someone else and doing god knows what with someone else when you are also doing the same thing to me um even though i have to confess um i think it's growth as well for me personally i have dated um people that have said one thing and went and did the opposite of exactly what they said so and i wasn't forgiving or at the time but yeah it teaches you a lot about yourself uh, those are relationship they teaches you they teach you a lot about yourself and how and all of that so i would say second chances i'm a person of second chances so i believe that we all deserve second chances um yeah we all deserve second chances i would um i would forgive him but um he must know what's at stake if he does it again because you do it once you do it twice twice is not a mistake anymore it's actually your choice so yeah i would uh i would date him i would forgive him i mean um i will forgive him I, I believe that i'm a very forgiving person um and for me forgiving it's not always about the other person it's about me myself um letting go and learning that um i don't have to look for myself in each and every individual and um we are all different and yeah that's what i yeah that's my that's my answer <laughs> it says explain i'm trying to explain uh so that you can see it from my own perspective i would um forgive a guy that cheats on me um as long as um as long as you're gonna learn from your mistake um because you can't cheat once and cheat and apologize and i forgive you and um and then you go and cheat again and then you apologize what are you apologizing for because obviously you're not sorry um like yeah don't do it twice like don't do it at all actually <laughs> don't cheat if you know exactly what you want and you know that what you have is gold why are you gonna mess it up but then again it happens um it's life this yeah question number 12 do you miss your mom since she is no more yes i do um every day it, it um loss is something that is oh yeah mind-blowing um it doesn't get it doesn't get any better it's just you just um learn to live with that and you move on honestly i do miss my mom even though i was still very young when she passed but i can still remember her um like very clearly like yeah i remember my mom like yeah like it was yesterday so it does hurt um especially when you are feeling lonely at times and you're like if i can have my mom and just call and be like mama because i get in it so yeah it, yeah i do miss my mom every day actually every day and it's always so beautiful when i dream of her and it feels so real like so real um 
but yeah i do miss my mom every day she was um yeah she was beautiful um num a question number 13 if you had to choose between youtube instagram okay it continues if you if you had to choose between youtube and instagram i would definitely choose youtube um i like youtube um instagram is i like Inst well i love youtube i like instagram that's what i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say and it says if you had to choose money or love i'll choose love um because that's what will help when the world is true so i'll i'll forever choose love because money comes and go and love stays forever so i'll choose love and if you had to choose um friends and family i won't choose they i love them equally so much um number 14 do you miss cape town do you miss visiting cape yes i do miss visiting cape i have made and i have met amazing people i have made a beautiful friends and yeah i i do miss cape town um i actually do would i would actually like to go back to cape town uh maybe not to stay there but to just explore and just tour around because i didn't get uh, the opportunity to do that due to financial um, strain so I will definitely um, go back to Cape Town just visit and yeah just visit and do sightseeing there so I'll definitely I definitely do miss Cape Town and the people from the um, like the beautiful people that I've met and the friends that I've made so yeah um, yeah, I've already answered this. Would you relocate back to Cape Town? No, not relocate to city. Mm -mm. Um, I actually like the scenery of um, Johannesburg better than Cape Town. I feel like I'm more myself here. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about the scenery that just... Ugh. Yeah. Uh, question number 15. How are you? I am... I am doing okay, um, considering everything that has gone through, uh, a lot has happened um, that I'm not uh, that I'm not re that I'm not ready to share yet. Um, but um, I have to say that it's 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 been it's been a tough year. It's been a really really hard year. Um, like I didn't think that it would end like this. I didn't think that this would actually be um, my reality or our reality or, or our reality or the reality that I am in right now. But yeah, a lot has happened, and. <clears throat> We pray for a better 2021 and hopefully God is going to see us through that. So, yeah. Question 16. How has the pandemic affected you personally, mentally? It's, um, like I said, it has been um, a really tough year. Um, number one, um, once um, the lockdown, I will definitely, I, I, will, um, I will link the video somewhere here of um let's chat um lockdown something that's the title of the video um yeah it, it's been difficult um not working for two months and not getting paid for those two months and only relying on your savings and also um yeah just being told that listen because of the lockdown you are not gonna get paid we will only um pay you based on your leave days that you have yeah that was um like a little step in the heart um but and also coming back and yeah it's been hard and having salary cuts and all that it's, it's been a tough year it's, it's been it's been hard that's all i'm gonna say for now it's been really hard 
um i believe this is the last question what drew you to being a content creator what drew me um my love for makeup and natural hair and hopefully one day i can venture into doing when i have like a bigger space and i have uh, a music studio that i can actually um sing for you guys maybe um so that has that was my one thing that drew me mostly was um my love for uh, beauty um so me sharing my makeup experience and um yeah just uh, me being in front of the camera and just doing the makeup tutorials and sharing my story and wanting one day wanting to go back to all of these videos and show my family um if god blesses me with one or when god blesses me with one and also look back and see the growth that i have that has been one of the most beautiful things um that drew me to being a content creator also um just sharing my story with you guys and hoping that you find it interesting and that you learn something from it and what's the other thing i've been inspired by a lot of people that have that have paved the way for us as um the new um content creators um like the likes of you michelinda masse tandy gama vongai uh christina gama um auntie jackie aina like a lot of people um yvonne victoria yeah like a lot of people have actually inspired me to share my experience as well and yeah hopefully it comes across to you guys anyways that is the end of my video today thank you so much guys for watching and if you are new here please um don't leave without subscribing and commenting and giving this video a huge thumbs up if you like it so i will definitely see you in the next video and i just want to say happy happy new year and may god bless us all and may we all achieve our dreams and goals and yeah thank you so much have a lovely evening guys bye